Hello beautiful explorer, this is the Mystic Maze, so welcome or welcome back if you're a part of the tribe. So thank you for all your love and support first at all and thank you for sharing your time with me. So for today, pick a card reading. Um, the question is what's next in love? So I would like to see a little bit in your maze is something related to your condition in love. So what's happening? What is the development? And also maybe the gifts and blessings that are coming in. So I've been preparing three piles. So let's start by seeing this is a duck for pile one. If you want to pick by items and this is for also pile one it also have the shell for pile two the shell so you can feel connected with the most uh something that is you know claiming your attention it also have this design here for pile two then we have pile and maze number two um three this is the rose quartz stone that you see. And this is the postcard. This is the front stationery. Flowerish for pile and maze number three. So if you want extra time, you can also pause the video um, in order to be more connected with your intuition because maybe and hopefully there is a message for you. So if you need uh, time, you can pause the video and whenever you are ready, you can you can click the timestamps in the description box and you will start your adventure entering your maze with me by clicking the timestamps. I see you in your maze. Hello beautiful explorer, this is for pile one. So let's enter your maze to see what's happening in your love life. Okay. I would like to see some tarot first and then I will be using some oracle cards. Let me shuffle them to see what's happening. So I feel like something here is very in intriguing and tangled, you know, as a major event, but I don't know. We will see. And the dog, I feel like it's a very free animal, actually very related to stay in the park, you know. So let's see what's happening for you, pile one. What's happening next in your love life? Let's see together. We have the Ace of Pentacles. We have the Devil. We have the Two of um, Wands. This one is calling. We have the Ten of Cups. Let me move just a bit everything for you to see. I feel like we have some sort of temptation and also addiction. Those two were coming out. We have the Five of Cups. And as clarification, we have the Eight of Wands. Back of the deck, we do have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like at first glance, there's something very beautiful is coming for you. I feel like you have a choice in here with the two of um, wands that is not to be undecided, but I'm feeling like it could be for some of you, some kind of choice regarding you. I don't know, maybe if you are undecided with, within two people, but I'm not seeing many people in here. I'm feeling like you need to decide in this point of view, in this situation, um, if you want to stay by your side, by yourself, or just, uh, you know, move to someone very specific. I'm feeling like it's coming in an offer, very prolific, and also with the energies of this King of uh, Pentacles, and also with having the opening and Ace of Pentacles. So I'm feeling like something very realistic is coming for you. So someone is just offering you a real occasion to start something. The energies can be both... Um, with the devil can be someone who is obsessed by you or represents some sort of temptation or it could be a toxic situation. So I feel like you need to decide. Um, we have in the middle of this reading these two of wands and from one side we do have something considered toxic but also the card for awakening as the devil. 
and on the other side we do have the ten of cups so i'm feeling like you're trying to have your vision and understand what's best for you i feel like if you are indecided between two situations can be that one situation is more prolific is for fulfillment and joy is bringing you very beautiful sensations and feelings of fulfillment and vibrant energies of you know feeling a whole human being at a culmination of something and on the other hand we do have some kind of temptation but i don't know if it's those offers and situations are inside of you or outside of you i feel like the you know the vibe that you get in here is of the five of cups so this card is really and also being represented by the eight of wands i feel like this card represents you and represents the way you perceive things so i feel like there is something you need to let go and I'm feeling like you're griefing, possibly, but I don't know if you're stuck there or not, or not, because I'm feeling like you can be moving from that situation, because it's like when you analyze very emotionally a situation, and you have two situations, one way is just bringing you more inside and is more doomy, and the other one is very of movement, so it's like you have the occasion to feel um, more a situation before taking your decision to move away but this card is representing some sort of stagnation with feelings but with this eight of wands i feel like you are ready to move away from something i want to see one card more with the devil for the devil and one card for the two of wands okay so which is the clarification for pile one for the devil and diablo this card here, we have the seven of wands. I'm feeling like you are very guarded and you are taking your time to decide because in here there is a challenge. So let's see if the challenge is regarding you, this choice is regarding you or the other person. But I feel like with the seven of wands, I want another card is that one. You are working on yourself. So I feel like you are trying to decide which way to go and what side you want. And we have something like illusions that are coming to an end. So this card is very disruptive. But it so that could be meaning some sort of closure with someone it's very specific. You have some if you have someone on your mind that you're dating, maybe. But I'm feeling like also this could represent some kind of new energies and some sort of rebirth that is coming. So a very good occasion for you to be satisfied and single. So I don't know if you are in a relationship or not, which way you want to go. But I'm feeling like with also this um, Mave of, of Pentacles, is like you will be, you see, very joyful. And again, it happened to be two, two of pentacles so i'm feeling like you're managing many situations so i don't know if you are solo single or you are in a in a relationship in this moment but i'm feeling like you need clarification because you have some kind of offer and you are moving away from griefing but on one side you have temptations and you're working on yourself i feel like you don't want to sabotage yourself so this devil could also represent some sort of awakening that you are you know crossing right now and i'm also picking that there is a big change coming in for you but let's see with the oracle cards what's next in pile one life love life okay we do have taking back your power so i feel like you are learning thinking you want to see something and it's like you're coming back to your senses right now. And I feel like maybe you've been traveling um, along with many temptations. But I feel like you're trying to cross that bridge. And to come to another path that is best for you. And this bringing you this Ten of Cups. We also have prosperity. So for sure, I feel like you want to feel satisfied and fulfilled. And I feel like you're looking at the treasures that are... First of all, inside of you, such as also your on finding your own resources and empowerment. I feel like this is of empowerment. So I feel like you can be closing some cycles and closing also with some people for some of you. Maybe you had a special person or 
um, a relationship and that you didn't know which way to go with that situation. We do also have commitment that it could be, I'm grabbing a sensation that it could be for sure this commitment with yourself first. So I'm feeling like you are taking the chance in here to dig deeper in yourself and to understand what is the best uh, way on your mystical path. Because I'm feeling, yes, again, extremes. So I'm feeling like there is a situation or a person that brings you far and in an uncomfortable place. But I feel like this is a test for you. So on one side, you have devilish energy. So of, you know, destabilizing energies of temptation, addiction, and also, you know, some kind of stalking and being obsessed. Also very extreme emotions, extreme actions that maybe are not resonating properly with you. I don't feel like you're working on them and you're very guarded and you know that, that there is a challenge, there is a test. I feel like in here you are being tested. I feel like you want to stay single, but you have some kind of wish to um, have the, this Ten of Cups, but you are doing it by, it's like you prepare, you're, you're balancing something inside of you in order to be able to welcome those energies of abundance and right now to commit in one way or another way that is really totally up to you if you want to have back your prosperity so the resources and being able to be empowered with yourself to empowering yourself so to take him back your powers i feel like you were in some kind of entangled situations in situation and right now it's like you're deciding to go far away from that and commitment could be for the self so with yourself this is like a love story with yourself and it seems like we have some kind of choice to make in here but this is really free and if it is resonating you you have the key you already have the key it's like you're taking your time it's not going to be long i'm feeling like the new offer is taking much more time as the work, solo work that you're making in your mystical journey, because we have many pentacles. So for prosperity, for sure, for stability, for sure, but it's very long term um, energy. And on the other side, I'm feeling like you're still balancing because I'm, I'm feeling like you have, maybe you have found or met someone who is very extremely different from you. And it's bringing you very many challenging energies. And right now, yes, you're still guarded. You know that there is some challenge going on. And you are trying to plan something to not get away, but move in a much better and lighter situation for you. And that's what's coming next. Okay. So this was general. So take only the things that are resonating. I'm feeling like stability, you know, stability is coming. So the dark has a family, a soul family. So you will be meeting some very uh, more stable energies, more resonating with you. Depends if you want to be more independent and stay with yourself, you know, or just test and prove the other um, way. Okay. So thank you for staying with me. If you want to stay in the flow. You can subscribe, you can also click many buttons, also the bell, so it's really up to you. And if you like the video, you can also click to leave a like, to drop a like, okay? Thank you for spending your time with me, you have my blessing, and I hope to see you super soon. Bye. Hello, dear explorer. This is the shell that you picked, very beautiful, coming from water, and it's very special for me. This is a very a spiral, so let's see if it is virtuous or is for the worst, you know, a karmic, it could be also karmic. And we have this beautiful flowerish, you know, design in here, very full of flowers. So let's start by reading and uh, seeing some tarots to see if it is resonating with you. So let me shuffle the cards regarding your uh, situation in law for the next weeks or maybe month so what's happening next this is a very short reading and not too much in deep as it is general for the moment as i'm not doing personal so what's happening for you we have the four of cups we have the haze of swords and 
Let's take our time to do things perfectly in our way. We have Nine of Swords. This card was calling. We have the Six of Pentacles. Hmm. My last card. What's next in Pile 2 Love Life? We have judgment at the back of the deck seven of cups okay something is coming to me right now there is a sort of confusion here and i'm picking like you can be stuck in one side because this nine of swords is speaking of insomnia so i feel like you're not seeing a way out i don't know if you're single or in a relationship but i'm feeling like a lot of anxiety and fears can happen this time for you so this is could be this present moment in the reading for you your love life but i'm feeling like you will be in some kind of agitated uh waters and i'm feeling like you are trying to cut out cut off this could be an offer of communication for sure but this could be also you trying to cut the things that you want to leave out of a situation something like you are coming to a conclusion so you're taking some sort of decisions and it's very rational because we do have a sword so it is the mindset field in here I feel like there is an offer. Listen, there is an offer in here with the Four of Cups. This offer, I don't know if it is for you or it is you that are offering something, such as a love offer, but the other person or you are refusing. So something is blocking, is blocking those energies. So I feel like we are not having a development in the love in the love story or in your um love situation for the moment it's like you are being stuck it's like you don't know which way to go with this nine of swords and also the main energies of the back of the deck with the seven of cups so the seven of cups you see how many different kind of cups do you have in front of you and you are like Alice in Wonderland. This means that you have many options and you are fantasizing maybe you are um, when you when a person is too idealistic, you have many ideas, but it's just a potential. You're not seeing things the way they are. And I have two confirmation, or maybe three. There is a refusal. There is insomnia, so some kind of anxiety when you think that you feel that something is a cul de sac. So it's a, a road that is stopped, closed. You know. And I'm feeling like also with the Seven of Cups, there is some sort of fantasizing that is very beautiful because it's like you are dreaming with your eyes open. But I'm picking like also, you know which way to go, like just like Alice, you know. I'm feeling like this situation started with some kind of exchange with the Six of Pentacles that is not bad. I feel like you helped someone or some kind of person if you have a special one on your mind helped you in this situation regarding love life okay pile two but i'm feeling like something needs needs to 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 be more balanced and you have judgment so it's like you're gathering your energies to come to a conclusion or to some sort of awakening this is a rebirth card as well but let me see i want to have uh one card more for the six of pentacles for pile wow a lot of pentacles it's like someone is blocked you want prosperity you want something stable you or the other person those are the energies that are coming but there is some kind of when you block some sort of resources okay so you're not exchanging properly okay and this is you want celebration by the way because we have the four of wands i want one card more for judgment <laughs> that is the card of celebration you want to celebrate this is a marriage card as well so i'm feeling like um 
you want something for the best and you want to win in this situation this is a celebration also very social card so maybe you are gathering with other people with your eyes open but i'm feeling like there is something blocked in here very very blocked so no exchange okay this card was calling we have new blessings new ideas new visions you see everything is concentrated in this part of the body so for you know sexuality so the vital energies also and i'm feeling like knowledge wisdom some some new visions are coming in maybe you are opening your eyes to something very much higher that is not representing properly your condition but i'm feeling like you need to see and to evaluate something you are protected as well there is some sort of divine prote protection i feel like this could not this road this situation could be something that is okay for you but i'm feeling in here is very unbalanced so i don't know if you still know which way to go there is also compassion with fourth wine magnolia compassion so someone is in need i don't know if it is you or the other person but i'm feeling like some kind of blockage but this is general so you know if it's you or if it is the other person and we do also have gratitude i feel like very beautiful maternal energies are coming so i feel like maybe you got lost in something very simple that you have in front of your eyes but there is some blockages in here so inactivity so it's like when you are keeping for yourself some kind of energies words feelings and resources there is somebody you or the other counterpart there is blocking this process to develop or to come to a shift of the energies because i feel like you're still trying to open your heart i feel like you need to let go of something in here and to have more clarity this was a very mini reading but i feel like there is some sort of inactivity for the moment and a lot of you know potential but it's not very clear which way to go so it's like you you need to stay a little bit more in this process in order to have your answer and possibly your key that you're still holding in your hand okay and in your heart as well but i'm feeling like a lot of confusion and you know anxiety in here so this is what's coming next my dear explorer please take only the things that are resonating and i thank you very much for staying here if you want more if you can click there are playlists and also you can subscribe to stay in our flow and share the tribe energy so you have my blessing with your love life. I know it's a very hard time, but I feel like you hold the key. So thank you again. I hope to see you super soon. Bye. Dear Explorer, hi. This is your maze, so let's enter it. It's very delicate and pinkish. I'm, I'm loving those two colors and green too, you see. Very beautiful. And we do also have this beautiful stone that is a rose quartz so rose um the color also pink is everywhere in here very feminine delicate so let's see if also if it is resonating with some tarots first for you pile three so we can enter your maze and this is general so you will be checking only the energies and uh, indication that are resonating with you. Let's see with the cards. So I want what's happening next. Five cards for you. Pile three. We have judgment. This card here. We have the seven of cups. Wow. <laughs> The nine of swords you see i shuffled the cards and but those cards are happening the seven of wands those three happened also in the 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 last reading pile two i so i don't know if this is part two or just let's see together and we also have eight of swords so very but this card also were calling me and hmm also this card so i don't know i'm trying to understand that the three of wands 
Mm. At the back of the deck, we do have Ten of Swords. Let me move the cards for you, pile three. Mm, a lot of cards. So I feel like in here as well, there is some sort of blockage in your love life because you see, we have many swords. Also in the opening, Ten of Swords is like you've been stabbed. So I don't know if it, we are speaking about betrayal or something that, you know, engañoso that uh, you know manipulated you and just lied to you or just betrayed you so many not beautiful things i can say but i feel like that is bothering you i'm feeling like the ten of sword is like you're exiting so it's like a, the culmination of your griefing and sadness when you perceive this kind of um bad energies and burdens but you will be able to move so it's a card of final move before turning the page to something best, the be for the best, you know? But I feel like you're very confused in here and you cannot see the way out. So this judgment is trying to give you the message of, yes, you have been passing through many hard times and right now it's time for you to open your eyes, you know? To see clearly, this is a rebirth card. This is a spiritual awakening. There is a higher calling with the trumpet and the angel that is trying to, you know, also with the dove, with the lady and the eye that is crying. So you suffered a lot, but you need to bury something in order to see something and make room for a brand new opening of the high and of the heart. This is a higher calling, a spiritual awakening. So you're changing and shifting your energies in your mystical journey and also in your love life. But I feel like you're still very confused because we have seven of cups that is fantasizing, but also idealizing many things. So not, you're not seeing things for what they are. It's like you're Alice in Wonderland. So I feel like you, you need to, if you want, you can also click for pile two. It's very resonating. It's like, this is part two of pile two, okay? And also in Sony anxiety fears, challenges in here so it's like you're still trying to protect you're trying to manage many many different energies and situations i don't know if you're single or or i'm picking like this could be someone that hurts you very badly and you're trying to find your way out because also we do have this eight of swords and eight of swords is you know self-sabotage is auto-sabotage so it's like you're sabotaging yourself not seeing the way this way out this is also for insomnia sleepless night no solutions it's like you perceive nothing for your best right now everything is doomy is darkish is there is no way out okay and this age of swords in in the hand is like representing you not wanting to see not wanting to see something but in the opening we do have something that is trying to bring you some kind of protection that is trying to say to you hello there is a calling there is something higher in here that you need to see that you need to test that you need to live there is a different vibration in here also for love but if you're still if you are standing still in your own in your current position where you are not able to see this is for not seeing not seeing and not seeing something you know many cards that are not heavy because they are not major arcana but this is a major arcana so this is stronger as energy so you are destined in here to see there is this occasion and it's up to you if you want to grab it and to leave it or just leave the situation um, this way you will be having many sleepless nights in your path and in your love light life. I feel like with these um, Knave of Wands, Queen of Cups and Three of Wands, you want something more, something lighter, brighter, much more for you, you know, and shaped for you because you deserve it. I mean, I feel like the energies that you're using are of Wands, so Fire and Cups. So there is some sort of very many energies coming in and out. You're stuck in your mental position. This is all about mindset. I feel like for, you know, battling against this mindset, you're using uh, bastos, there is wands, and also cups, so emotions. And this is like, this card is for 
someone who wants to look far and create a new empire, a new kingdom. So I feel like you're trying to balance something. Let's see. For pile uh, three. Authenticity. So I feel like you're not seeing something also about yourself. It's like you have a vision on yourself and you are here. You have the chance, the portal to see your authenticity also with the love life rising up you need to be a rebel in this position you have the occasion in here to be a rebel okay so to rise up against something maybe your own mindset that is kind of you know no more appropriate for the path that your soul and your heart wants for you this card here big picture yes for sure very resonating it's like you are not able to see i let you see there is a maze in here this is a maze or a labyrinth is very difficult but i hope that you see there is some kind of entangling um energies but for the bigger picture you hold the key you see this is the magic key that you have it's already in you but if you need to let go to be detached from your own, you know, self-sabotaging mindset. This is about mindset, I can tell you. We have influence. So also this could, uh, spin star, spiny star, could be you and your mindset that are influencing your actions and your visions. And in here, there is some kind of key. There is the request okay for you to see and grab the idea that is more pragmatical or practical if you keep distance uh from the situation to be more detached maybe and to you know you are following too many influences and i'm i'm feeling like you can be the worst sometimes ourselves so we are the our worst influencers you know influencing elements creation again you see this beautiful moon is on the mindset on the mind swords again i'm feeling like you need to create something new for your own authenticity in order to have the bigger picture and to get rid of those influences that maybe it could be external for sure okay because you felt stopped but i'm feeling like also this higher calling of judgment is like a new opening a new portal a new picture a bigger picture you are the only one who holds the key but you need to rise up against some part of yourself that is for the best of your de development and to create something new to see something to use fire and cups and to look very far but more detached so you know your way okay and it's really up to you so beautiful explorer this was everything for today so thank you very much for staying and sharing your time and energies with me if you want to stay connected you have many options to click the buttons and also playlists it's really free for me and for you as well so thank you again for staying take only the things that are resonating and I hope to see you very soon. I send you much love and all my blessings. I see you soon.